Hi, all right, so I'm going to explain the organization assignment, give you some models, and I'm adding a little bonus onto the assignment, something I'd like you to do that I think could be fun and whimsical and also have a layer of analysis within it. So here it is. In this class, I ask which text most has your heart. That will be the one that you write your, your paper on, your three-page analysis paper. It's a four-week assignment. This week, I want you to declare a topic. Next week, you'll declare your thesis, paragraph, and then submit an outline. The week after will be your first draft, and the last week will be your final draft. So we go pretty quick through it, but it's really just an extended timed write, the size of two to three timed writes, but it's one where you get to choose the prompt and you get to sit with it a little bit longer. You can conduct research as you're thinking about what to choose, but you don't have to. And then for your organization assignment this week, write your prompt and submit it on our discussion board. Here's a little bonus, include other novels in your prompt language that would also suit the prompt. This is twofold. One, I just think it would be fun. It would help you apply your topic to other novels just in this initial part of the assignment. You don't actually have to write those papers, but it also would help you see what the open question really looks like. And I'll show you an example of that. So um, what have we even read? How can you decide? You might immediately know, oh, okay, I'm doing the Droilet Club. I've wanted to, I'm gonna do that. But if not, Go through our syllabus and remind yourself of what it is that we've read. I've got a list here as well. So our novels and plays, our short stories. Here's a list of our poems that we've read. As you pick the one, know that if it's poetry, you can absolutely choose more than one poem. And in that case, make sure it's the same author, but you can go to other poems by that author. And that I'd be happy to read. Um, so I have a little disclaimer at the bottom here. If you want to do the poems of Robert Frost and you choose one that we did as a class, but want to select two or three others that you know are in his catalog, that's fine. I'd be happy to read extra poems. I love reading extra poems. If you choose a novel, though, choose only one. And then I am asking you to stick to our course list because it's not so easy for me to quickly go read a novel I haven't read. And I want to be able to help you with this. I want to be able to give you some tips for the analysis. Plus, that third week, the draft will be a peer draft, so I don't want the peer who's reading your paper to be at a disadvantage because they haven't happened to have read your text. So all of this is to say, hew pretty closely to our course list, please. Now, um, let's say that you already know what you're going to do. You're going to do the, the character of Sonia in Crime and Punishment. You're really taken, especially by her role as a fallen woman, who's actually strong and courageous. That's your idea. How would you make that into a prompt? What am I asking you to do? This is really just an exercise to see how our intuitions and our insights are absolutely something that the AP literature people value and can be formalized. So this would be the formal version of that. Many characters in literature occupy the lowest rungs in the societal ladder and appear to be fallen, foolish, or broken, yet instead offer the greatest wisdom in their stories. Choose a novel in which character speaks truth and wisdom from this humbled position, and then write a well-organized essay in which you explain how the author's portrayal of that character's fallenness or lack thereof illuminates the meaning of the work as a whole. This is the idea. I just made it all fancy and I made it formal. And this is what I'd like you to do. You might find going through the list of all the open questions, one really jumps out at you and you wanna just use it, that would be fine. Or you might find, as I just showed you, that the idea comes from you and then you have to translate it into AP speak. Here's a little bonus thing I want you to do. I want you to add a few novels. Maybe you know you're gonna do crime and punishment, but in looking at your topic, you realize that would work for like all of these other books, ones that you've read in my class and not read in my class. I think this would be fun for us to see. And I also think it gets you closer to what the AP exam looks like, where they're gonna ask you the open question and they're gonna give you a list of 20 books and you pick only. So here's what that looks like on the AP exam. Here is the prompt. And then here would be the list of books. 
We'll get into this the week or two before the exam, but I want to say it first and foremost here. You do not have to have read one of these books. You can always, it says here, choose a work from the list below or one of comparable literary merit. You can always substitute in a book that you know would work for that prompt and you are not at a disadvantage to do so as long as it's of comparable literary merit. Each of the books we've read in this class is comparable literary merit in the AP teacher or grader's eyes. And I'll explain that a little bit more again, but just so you know, since this is the first time I'm really bringing that up. Okay, so um, if you are not sure of what to do, these things might help. I'm just reminding you of the prompts that we've done for Joy Luck Club and Lord of the Flies. So those are linked in the organization assignment on my website. And then here is a list of every open question ever since the beginning of the AP Lit exam in the 1950s. It's a really fun list just to skim through and see what sorts of things they've asked students over the years. And you can see there the looming 2020, there was no question, um, but every other year there was these short topic driven ideas where you got to choose something, a choose a book that would illustrate that something. So read through it, and if you're stuck, you can maybe find one that you can use. All right, um, that is the assignment. Let me know if you have trouble. I love topic selection. I'd be happy to help you through something if you're stuck. Otherwise, um, I look forward to seeing what you've come up with.